All right. So Cancer New Moon. This Cancer New Moon is happening July 10th. It is, um, it's filled with emotions. It is an emo new moon, which I would say, at least for me, my full moons are my emotional roller coasters, but cancer is an emotional sign. And so kind of the themes of, of this cancer new moon is emotions and judgment. So we get to ground ourselves and release our emotions. So these are the five tips I have for you for this Cancer New Moon. The first one is ground your energy, ground your energy. Like I said, it's an emotional time. So grounding, what are some of the grounding exercises that work for you? Maybe that means gardening or taking your shoes off and walking in the soil, walking in the sand, walking the beach, connecting your feet to mother earth, um, going hiking, going in the forest, going in nature, going in juicy nature filled environments to ground yourself. Also, this is taking care of you. So self care, Ding, ding, ding. We're always, you know, coming back to our self-care, our self-care. So in, in, uh, in the goddess process, in my signature system, self-care, we break it down. The C is compassion, compassion for myself and others. A is affirmations. So what is your affirmation? I'm going to give you an affirmation, but you may have one that resonates for you and may bubble up throughout these uh, five themes that we are experiencing in this new moon. So affirmations are ritual. So this is a bit of a ritual. You will come to the new moon ceremony tonight. That is ritual. Maybe you have a, a thing you, a ritual you do with uh, your friends or by yourself. Now is the time to lean into ritual. Maybe it's a goddess soak. Maybe it's just meditating. Again, maybe it's going out and getting grounded in nature. And E is, is energy. So protect your energy. Protect your energy from... Mm, cultural, environmental, creating boundaries, which is a theme that will come up again and again in this new moon. So self-care, C-A-R-E, C, compassion, A, affirmations, R, ritual, and E, protecting your energy. So cancers are nurturers, and this can be um, unhealthy. It can be a deflection. Uh, it can be taking the uh, energy off ourselves and putting it on others in the form of nurturing or help or support when actually we are avoiding our emotions, our communication, our needs and desires. So the prompt at this time is to tune into your why. Why am I nurturing or supporting or caring for this group of people or this person or this company or this thing? Uh, and am I avoiding something inside of myself? So why are you nurturing others? And, and in this why, this creates clarity of possibly old wounds, childhood trauma, checking in with, am I choosing from the little me, the little girl or boy inside of me who has been wounded or feels unheard or unseen? So this is an opportunity to connect with your why. Why am I deflecting or, or choosing into something as opposed 
to choosing into me, into my self-care, into my needs, wants, and desires. So really great reflection time as to maybe why you are choosing into certain things. Where in your chakras you may be feeling this is in your solar plexus. So if you're feeling anxiety in your solar plexus, if you're feeling anxious in your tummy, this is an opportunity to go outside and get grounded. That's the like, aha, oh, I feel anxiety. Go put your feet in some grass. Go get in the ocean or in water. Go into nature. Take a hike. <laughs> As they said, take a hike. Go take a hike. So uh, this is your invitation to go take a hike. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's number one, really grounding your energy and it's an emotional time. So take self-care. Number two, forgive, learn, and expand. Forgive, learn, and expand. This is an opportunity to... You know, we were talking about this yesterday in Daily Kickstart in here when Laura did her uh, workshop Wednesday about forgiveness. It's when you are sitting in the, the stew or the poison of it, you drank the poison. But what, what the, what's the saying, Laura? I'm holding on to a grudge or something like that is like... Um... Drinking the poison. Drinking, drinking the poison and expecting somebody else to die or something like that. And expecting somebody else to die. Exactly, like, right? Yeah. So you're drinking the poison and expecting somebody else to die. So uh, choose yourself first. Clear out any one or thing you need. Well, if it's bubbling up for you, it's an invitation to release and forgive that event, that person, that thing in yourself also, right? Forgive yourself, hold space for forgiveness. A tool for this that I know some of us know is the Honopono prayer. I forgive you, I'm sorry, thank you, I love you. I forgive you, I'm sorry, Thank you, I love you. And a really effective way to do this, maybe you do this in meditation, maybe you do this in your journaling, maybe you do this in the mirror. This is great mirror work. You can do this standing naked. How often do we talk negatively about parts of our body, parts of our body we don't like, but here we are in this meat suit. This is what we got. So how could we forgive ourselves? We'll have another two, another practice around this at another point in the five themes for this Cancer New Moon. But do the practice of sitting in the mirror, looking at yourself, standing naked or sitting, even just eye gazing with yourself. I forgive you. I'm sorry. Thank you. I love you. Yes, Leo agrees. So hold space for forgiveness. Changes are being pushed towards you and may not make sense right now. So, but this is your life path. So, so, hey! So uh, changes are being pushed towards you and may not make sense, but this is your life path. So the opportunity is to embrace the changes that are coming your way. Embrace the changes that are coming your way. The third theme for this Cancer New Moon is be seen, be seen, be seen. So show up in your full you, all of you, your full authentic self, all of you, let's see you. 
uh, what messages we need at this time will show up. So like I keep seeing a bumblebee. I don't know what that means and I haven't looked it up yet, but I keep seeing bumblebees around me, not swarms, just one or two. So notice the messages that are around you. Laura always sees bumper stickers or t-shirts that are signs. So take the signs. This is divine messaging coming your way. Note, there may be triggers at this time and these are lessons of the soul, an opportunity to heal these wounds. So if you're getting triggered, just note where it comes from. We talked about this earlier is uh, this is a lesson of the soul and an opportunity to heal this wound. Fourth, are you writing all of these down? Number four, setting intention. Being rooted in your womb for the women in the room, in your sacral chakra, your we release the emotion that we're holding on to. So our womb, we are a manifester, like a, literally our bodies are manifesting human beings. Like it, we manifest, we create ah, ideas, projects, community, connection. So this is the time of manifestation of sitting in our womb space of what we want to birth into the world. And now is the time to, you, you are fertile to plant these seeds. What seeds are you looking to plant at this time? A, this, again, there is an exercise here of eye gazing being naked, standing in front of your mirror and eye gazing, taking all of you in. This is the meat suit you are in at this time, recognizing it, appreciating it, embracing it, using it to its fullest capacity while we're here on this limited time. What may come up is a lack of worthiness. I invite you to do the Honopono prayer again. Leaning in to using your feminine moon cycle uh, as again, a recognition of your fertileness of the creative creation superpower that you are. And fifth and final theme for this month is to hold your own space, create new boundaries. So we are up leveling you. We've talked about this time and time again in these moon ceremonies is you are expanding. You are an expander and with that, comes new kind of rules of engagement for yourself. Things that used to be okay are no longer okay. So as you are deepening your emotions, as you are deepening and expanding your worthiness, as you are standing in your soul purpose, in your creation and creativity, your power of birthing things into the planet, into the physical, you will need to create new boundaries. Maybe you need more sleep. Maybe you need more alone time. Maybe you need to change your diet. Maybe you're called to spend more time with certain people and not with others. So notice as you are stepping into this new time in your life, this new space, this new manifestation, what new space do you maybe need to hold? New boundaries that you need to express and 
normally we cut cords or we release in the full moon, but this new moon is, is calling us to cut cords with things that are no longer in alignment. Cut cords with behaviors, people, practices, mm, old, the old stuff. Um, this, these boundaries, if you don't set these, they will not allow you to step into the life you are creating. I know that might land for some of you, right? You're, you are creating a new life. You're stepping into a new chapter, a new season of your life. But, you know, the divine feminine is so freaking strong. And it's us that really creates the path when we're in 100% responsibility and ownership. So create the boundaries. It creates the life you want. So just like a little recap, this is emotional time. This is a gift and an opportunity to go deeper. Um, and the mantra, this was my mantra that Jess gave to me and it just resonated. It's like a through line right now. I own my impact. I own my impact. So it's really taking responsibility for ooh, our, where we've been, our emotions, holding the space through self-care and boundaries to go deeper, to heal our old wounds around our bodies, around past behaviors and what we've allowed in and to really a fertile, fertile time to create and manifest into the physical world. Whoa, okay. That is this answer, new moon. I am curious what bubbled up for you. So share with 